This is Seven National News and in our top story, the first ever single concentrated solar power plant, or CSP, opened in Abu Dhabi on Sunday. Shams One has proved the UAE's commitment to renewable energy, according to officials and experts. Many believe this is only the beginning of numerous projects geared towards sustainable clean energy and a green future for the Emirates as well as the region. Our correspondent Khadija Sali has this report. Shams One is a major milestone in the UAE's economic diversification and a step towards long-term energy security according to President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, who inaugurated the $600 million solar power plant in the presence of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and Ruler of Dubai, and General Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces and Chairman of the Abu Dhabi Executive Council, along with other dignitaries and government officials. The President also expressed his pride in the young Emiratis who worked on the project. We succeeded in, in training our own team, locally hired. 30% of the employees working in this plant are UAE nationals. With the support we had from our uh, joint venture, from the plants, the learning we had from our plants in Spain, and the support we got from our joint venture uh, partners in this project, we succeeded in qualifying our own employees to take over and uh, manage the operation and maintenance of this plant. A tour of the facility shows the advanced technology employed to run the plant. The solar field features 258,000 mirrors occupying an area of 2.5 kilometers. Half of it is protected with 7 meters of solid wall and the other half with mesh to break the wind. 192 rows of loops collect heat that drives turbines to generate power that would save 175,000 tons of carbon dioxide annually equal to removing 15,000 cars off the road. Now fully operational and connected to the grid, the 100-megawatt Shams One generates clean energy that powers 20,000 homes in the UAE. Uh, I think uh, we, we started uh, facing the future and also helping in, 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 in uh, you know, taking uh, the first milestone of, uh, you know, of the vision of, of Abu Dhabi, the 2030 plan. Um, and, and I believe it's, it's all about sustainability and it's all about also guaranteeing jobs for the youth. Uh, so it's exciting times for us all. Our kids, our future, that will be learning from this lesson and build on it. And I'm sure down the road there's so much thing that they will be able to come, innovate. And, and we are happy that this facility is created first in the region in UAE and especially in Abu Dhabi. And uh, the, the outcome, it's only a startup, I believe so. And we're looking forward for the more initiative coming from Mustar toward coming with uh, energy, green energy, that we as a society, we benefit from it. The Middle East is poised for major investments in renewable energy, according to His Excellency Dr. Sultan Al Jaber, UAE Minister of State and CEO of Masdar. Shams One proves this economic and environmental advantage of deploying large scale solar projects. French company Total and Spanish Abengoa Solar each hold a 20% stake in the project and see growing opportunities across the region and the globe. This technology, concentrating solar power, has a clear advantage in this region. The fact that it's dispatchable. Dispatchable meaning that you can use that clean power whenever you need it and not only when the sun is shining. In this case, thanks to the use of natural gas. In other cases, thanks to the use of storage. We have gradually built our, uh, our competence and know-how in solar, mainly. Uh, we started by R&D. We then partnered with Shams and developed this project, with, uh, with Mazdar and developed this project. And now we went to uh, solar PV, photovoltaic, and we created with uh, the purchase of the Sun Power Company, we created the number three or two actor in the world in terms of, uh, of solar. Our project is from that standpoint and with this technology to grow from there. If we can do that with Mazda, we'll do it. And we have, uh, we have discussions, but they are not uh, uh, finalized. And to answer to the bids that take place in, uh, in the region, but um, even furthermore, around the world, there are many countries that are now opening up to solar and we want to seize these opportunities. 
Neighboring countries including Saudi Arabia, Qatar and Oman are showing strong interest in developing solar technology. IRENA Director General Adnan Amin commended the UAE's efforts and commitment, adding that it will be just a matter of time before the Emirates becomes one of the world's largest green energy producers. Khadija Sali, 7 National News.